So st- stuff like this, it, it really, really sucks. Um, and it gives you a, uh, a reminder about how stuff is deeper than just football. It's, football is just what's on the surface value, but stuff goes much deeper uh, than that. Um, something that we, we talk about a lot on here because it's important that we get these reminders that these football players, the coaches, everybody involved, they are human beings at the end of the day, at the beginning and end of the day. Um, so while we, of course, root for our favorite teams and our favorite players and whatnot, and that's great, and ain't nothing wrong with that, um, we got to remember at the end of the day, everybody participating in these games, it is just that it's a game, it is a business as well, uh, but they are all human beings. Um, so stuff like this, and it's crazy because we were, we, were ju- we were just talking about, uh, mm, that's sad, man, we were just talking about... Um, that the off season is here, the slowest part of the off season is here, and this is where we always end up hearing just bad stories all the time, and I hate that part. I, I, I hate that so much. It really sucks. And you feel for for Ray Lewis, you feel for his family, you feel for just everybody, his friends, former teammates um, of Ray Lewis the uh, third, who passed twenty eight years old, man, twenty eight years old. So a, a baby, 28 years old, man, that's, they didn't say what happened yet. I, I don't even really, not that it doesn't matter, but a, 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 a brother lost his brother, a father lost his son, a, a, a mother lost a son. a son, a niece lost her uncle, nephew lost her uncle, you a teammate lost their teammate. It's just, it, it sucks, man. It, it really, really does, man. Um, and you just, you, you feel for people, man. You, you really do. Because there's no, like, that's something that you never get used to dealing with. Because we weren't used, we weren't meant to be used to dealing with death. But that's, that's why it sucks so bad, because it wasn't meant to, to be dealt with. Uh, and that's why it's like, it's, it's, it's such a, a pain that just, it just never goes away. Um, and you, you, you really feel for them, man. You feel for the entire family. Obviously, um, with Ray Lewis being who he is uh, and, and obviously his impact with the Baltimore Ravens and just him being like that guy, even like this dude's been retired for since, what, the 20, 2012. He retired that season and... A lot of people, when they think about the Baltimore Ravens, that's the first person who still comes to mind to this day. Uh, so obviously, um, his ties with the Baltimore Ravens, everything he's done for and with the Baltimore Ravens, that legacy that he has is important. So people feel extra for him, man. That's his son. Like speaking, of, as a father to a son too, and I mean, as as a father or a parent to any child, it, it's pain. It's definitely gonna be pain. Um, but yeah, it's just tough, man, because with with your child, you you see so much of yourself in your child and, and with your child, one of you, one of the biggest goals that you have as a parent, well, I I will speak for myself, one of the biggest goals that I myself have as a parent is just trying to put our son, me and my wife's son in a position to do better than we are doing, to do better than we did when we were younger, to just to to have him set up better. And you, you do so much for your kids, you realize that when you, when you really sit back and think about your life, you realize how so much of your life is centered, centered around uh, providing for your kid. For, providing for your family, obviously, as a whole, but providing for your kid, making sure your kid is straight, making sure your kid is taken care of, making sure your kid is entertained, making sure your kid got everything that they need and more. And to be doing that and to have done that for so long, for, for, for 28 years, and then this kid passed. Your kid passed. And then on top of that, as a parent, that's something that you never expect to have to go through, too. Your kid passing before you, that's just got to be like a, that's, a, that's got to be a different kind of pain, man. So I, I really do feel for uh, this is whole family, man. I really do. Because that's tough, man. And it's like these past couple of off seasons, man. Um, we remember last year, Jalen Ferguson, Tony Saragusa. Literally, I think they wasn't it on the same day. 
I think. If it wasn't on the same day, then it was like maybe a day apart, but I think it was on the same day. I'm pretty sure it was. But then just to go back, remember uh, Trayvon Walker? Remember him? That that was during the off season too. And it's just, I mean, it's it's tough. And it obviously happens to, to more teams than the Ravens because players around the league, it's just so many players in the league, uh, and their fine families obviously reach thousands upon thousands of people and whatnot, and, and it's unfortunate. But, man, it's it's tough, man. It's really tough, man. So just be good to people, man. Be good to people. Um, I don't even know what to say, man. Just, just, just be good to people, man. Be good to people. Tell people you love them. Uh, try to squash any issues that you got with anybody. Try to keep the peace. Try to be peaceable. Try to show love. Try to be approachable. Try to just be humble. Try to uh, just again show love. Try to be good to people, man. That, that that's the only thing I could tell you. Try to be good to people because people just be going through stuff, man. People be going through stuff. You never know what somebody going through. You never know what issues somebody is dealing with. You just, you, you, you never know, man. You never know. And you never know how you being good to somebody could have a positive impact on them. So I love y'all. I, I really appreciate y'all so much. Thank y'all for being who y'all are. Thank you for being the way that y'all are. I love y'all. And we going, man.